the water rose up very, very fast. Valley Waters Flood Control Project is designed specifically to prevent this, the catastrophic flooding of San Jose's Rock Springs neighborhood in 2017. Back then, Hen Nguyen found herself trapped by the rapidly rising floodwaters. Total loss. It's a total loss because we live uh, by the first floor. Hen says it's taken her and her neighbors years to recover. It's something she hopes never to experience again. And if Valley Water's $115 million project works as promised, she shouldn't have to. The main goal for the overall project is to protect the, the homes and the businesses that are around Coyote Creek to make sure that, that we can protect for flooding that we saw in 2017 in San Jose. 2017, much like this year, was an exceptionally wet winter. Anderson Reservoir filled and then spilled over for the first time in years. And as impressive as the images were, they spelled trouble for communities downstream. The water rose up and I live next to the sewage. The big sewage is sting very bad. For the next year and a half, Valley Water will be installing flood walls and levees along a 10 mile stretch of the creek, protecting low lying and often low income neighborhoods nearby. With weather extremes that we're experiencing, you know, we've, we've got to adapt to the possibilities of, of these extreme weather events. Hien has lived in the Rock Springs neighborhood for 23 years. It is her home. And she hopes by virtue of this project, it will be much less vulnerable than it was before. I hope uh, that means the, the flood won't come back again because we already suffered with the tragedy 